working with existing arts organizations on their own access and disability inclusion policy. How do they make a policy? How do they write a policy? And how do they actually make a policy work to bring people to the theater that want to come to the theater, whether artists or patrons with disabilities? Our second A is a theater education aid. How do we work with families and children with disabilities for theater education, for drama games, to do a play at their organization, to do a play at their school? Because we hear time and time again from those schools and those organizations that they want theater in their schools and their community centers, but that no one's coming to do it. And our third aim, which you'll we'll see a little bit of tonight, is to produce works that explore disability on stage. And that can mean a variety of things. It can mean doing a play that has nothing to do with disability in its plot, or its theme, or the playwright, or the characters, but casting artists with disability in those roles and seeing what happens then. Or it can mean doing a play that grapples with disability on stage and exposing those issues and discussing them with our audience. 